Hey, Mr. G here. Um, if you're listening to this, it's because you're going to take your test listening to the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read each question. You can pause, you can rewind, you can do whatever you need to do to help you with this. Um, listen to it as many times as you want. Make sure you're taking your time. You still do Scooby on your paper. You still show your work on your paper. You choose your answer. When you're done with the test, come see me. I will give you your bubble sheet. You will fill it in, and then you will turn in both of them to me. Okay? So here we go, number one. Carolyn spent 153 minutes reading last week. This week, she read 129 minutes more than last week. How many minutes did she read altogether both weeks? Number two. Number two. Patricia created a bar graph to show how students voted for their favorite pets. Favorite pets. Cat, dog, hamster, turtle. Number of votes. Which table best represents the information in the bar graph? Which table best represents the information in the bar graph? The order in the answers is cat, dog, hamster, turtle. Number three. Campers at a lake rented 18 more canoes than paddle boats each week during five weeks. Which table should show the number of canoes and paddle boats rented during these five weeks? Canoes and paddle boats. Number of canoes. Number of paddle boats. Number four. Chris plays basketball four times per week. He plays soccer three times a week. How many times does Chris play basketball and soccer? in eight weeks. Number five. Paul had 324 marbles. He gave 126 of his marbles to his best friend and 105 marbles to his brother. Which equations can be used to find the number of marbles Paul had left? Number six. The graph below shows the number of pounds of plastic the Keller family recycled for five months. Recycled plastic. March, April, May, June, July. Each cylinder means 20 pounds. Based on the graph, how many more pounds of plastic did the family recycle in July than in April? Record your answer and fill in the bubbles on your answer document. Be sure to use the correct place value. Number seven. George has six boxes of bananas. Each box holds 13 bananas. He is putting an equal number of bananas in three bowls. Which model shows the number of bananas he put in each bowl? Bananas in boxes. Bananas in bowls. Number eight. Denise planted a flower garden with a rectangular section and a square section as shown. Each square equals one square foot. 
What is the total area of the garden in square feet? Number nine, Trent's grandmother baked five pies. Each pie is divided into eight pieces as shown below. Trent's family eats the same number of pieces of pie each day. How many pieces did they eat each day if all the pieces were eaten in four days? Number 10. There are eight socks in each package sold at a shoe store. Which table shows the number of socks in different numbers of these packages? Packages of socks. Number of packages. Number of socks. 11. There are seven guests at Mrs. Alvarado's house. She has 21 eggs to serve to her guests for breakfast. Each guest will receive an equal number of eggs. The equation below represents the eggs each guest will be served. How many eggs will each guest be served? The answers say each guest will receive eggs for breakfast. Number 12. There are four classes of third graders at Washington Elementary. Each class has 22 students. How many third grade students are there at Washington Elementary? Okay, that's the end of the test. When you're done, come see me for your bubble sheet. Do your bubble sheet and then turn both of them in to me.